Toyota saw the Ford Raptor and said, Oh, we can all be assholes now? It's Memorial Day. Here's a call. I drive a Tacoma TRD. I like to call an afternoon of golf shooting a quick nine. Yeah, well, I drive a TRD Pro. I crack open a Michelob Ultra, whip my dick out at the country club, and stare down the manager. And once he looks away, I know I got him. The Toyota Tacoma is just another four and a half thousand pound pickup truck, but put on an abbreviated Toyota racing development on the side, and it becomes a badge engineered smegma pot pie. But the TRD isn't the top trim anymore. Toyota needed their own supreme label, TRD Pro. <sighs> Well, you get Fox internal bypass shocks, a TRD cat back, cat back, cat back, cat back, cat back, cat back. The first time I shaved my pubes was the first time I got them. TRD Pro, here I come. Let me tell you about Scott Trade, Forbes, Bloomberg. I drive a TRD Pro Tacoma. My dividends always pay more. Raytheon, 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 Berkshire Hathaway. The joke here is Berkshire Hathaway doesn't pay dividends. Toyota Tacoma, sponsored by, hey, when did this song become classic rock? You. You. You feel it in your bones. The clarion call of undefeated time. Your hands aren't as steady as they used to be. And just a few beers can mess up your entire weekend. You proudly man the grill at the family cookout, but your metabolism is such that you have the gut of a Midwestern pastor after one hot dog. So why not a Toyota Tacoma? It's the pension pickup truck you've always dreamed of. It's catnip for other middle-aged men looking for conversations in the gym parking lot. Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Because any man can talk a good game about his dick, but it's easier to let the truck perpetuate the lie for you. This is a 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I'm tired of saying that. Offering a six-speed manual transmission and a 3.5 liter 2GR FKS engine. That's a V6, making 270. 78 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque, which is only one less than the previous year, despite complaints from second-gen Tacoma owners that the third generation has no torque. If driven normally, it'll hit 19 to 20 miles per gallon, which is about in line with what you'd expect from something you make political Facebook videos from. It has a rear locking differential, a live rear axle, and a very low first gear. And it still has hydraulic steering, not electric. This is stock with 16-inch uh, tires, and while they aren't great in corners, they still get the job done for Kyle. Which is kind of funny. No. <laughs> It'll squeak. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the, there they are off-roady tires. Well, you know, I looked at them. They're not mutter tires. They're not very aggressive, but... They are all seasons, basically. All okay. season, all terrain. Nothing... Nothing fancy. Jack of all trades, master of none, as mm -hmm. far as the time. Other additions include an archaic clutch fan. They're still using these things. A towing capacity of around 6,400 pounds, stock fog lights by Rigid Industries, and a variant of the IMT system, or Intelligent Manual Transmission. The Toyota Corolla has the IMT system in full, which means it'll match up and down shifts, but the Tacoma doesn't. It only matches on up shifts, not down. The idea is the electronic throttle makes for smoother shifting because the computer is attempting to match revolutions with the engine and transmission and everything, but with this truck, you're not getting the full range of the IMT. I don't get it. And if you get the automatic, the rear gearing is significantly different. Stick shift Toyota Tacomas get a 4.3 rear end ratio, while autos get 3.9. But good luck finding these things in manual with any ease. But then, it's almost as if you were never meant to find Tacomas in manual anymore. Kind of like the debug room in Final Fantasy VII, or the EJB menu in Mortal Kombat, or Gaster in Undertale. Now, by his own admission, the owner Kyle was a pretty big Subaru fanboy, although not the kind to do crazy performance mod. He tended to do other sort of like accents and JDM bits that we never got here in the States. His mods to the Tacoma 
are similarly minimalist, totaling up to a TRD upper intake box and some fixes to Toyota's, let's call them oversights. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, you know, I actually extended the air conditioning condensate drain, like where the condensation comes out of the evaporator. So Toyota, you know, in all their brilliance, and we all know that these trucks, you know, Tacomas, Tundras, Forerunners alike have had frame rot issues. Even though it's technically demineralized water, the water still used to drain right on top of the frame rail, which, if you can poke the camera in here, was right down in there. So if you see the zip ties, I just kind of did like a little barb fitting mount, um, I'm sorry, a little barb fitting, and extended the drain all the way down the frame rail to right here. You can see it just kind of sticking through there. I used a couple, you know, some zip tie engineering and that was about it. But you know, like a $10 mod. Over the years of them making all of these trucks that I had mentioned before, you can see, you get down under here, on the rear diff, uh, way up in here, there's a little clamp right here. The original diff breather was there just to kind of vent air out and pressure. Well, even though it's a one-way valve, if you're off-roading, you know, water still manages to find its way into here, and you know, then it emulsifies the uh, the gear oil, and you don't like, you don't want water in your oil ever. So I extended the drain all the way up here, routed it again, zip tie engineering, and just some gates, three eighths hose behind the tail light, right up in here. He also has an ultra gauge thing on the driver's side for monitoring general input sensors like battery voltage and engine coolant temperature. Kyle had a 2017 STI and had the inkling to take it to more track events, but he needed something to tow it. So Kyle bought a mid-grade Tundra, which ran fine the first 2,000 miles, but it turns out the motor was a junker. Despite having bought it new, Kyle opened a case with Toyota, but they claimed they couldn't replicate the issue with the Tundra, leaving Kyle with a pretty useless hunk of premium price machinery. It was then that his father gave him an important piece of life advice that brought him to this Tacoma. Well, you can only drive one car at a time, so get rid of other cars and just drive the one you really like. So Kyle traded in the STI and the Tundra toward the purchase of this TRD Pro. It ended up costing a cool $45,000 and change, but as Kyle mentioned to us at lunch afterwards, a TRD is a logical endpoint for Subaru owners, because people love modifying Subarus, but they become unreliable the minute you start modding them. And Kyle would know, since he ran a shop that repaired, modded, and track prepped Subarus. So in search for something reliable, Subaru owners ended up here when they're finally ready to retire from the community and its reputation that more is always more, they end up here, back with Toyota. And yet therein lies the problem. With a Tacoma, you're still driving one car, but one that encourages owning other cars because it's practically built for towing pleasure craft. This is a truck for you to hide in and collect your thoughts. Because you were just inside St. Paul's Social Hall for a spaghetti dinner when In the Mood started playing on an Iowa CD boombox. And your brother-in-law wanted to dance with your daughter. You know what Larry is about. And you know how he thinks. So here you are, alone in your truck, counting the seat stitching. Because you were three breaths away from throwing an up elbow and oblique kick in front of the Almighty and his San Giorgio angel hair. The Tacoma encourages you to go on living a life of aggressive waste. The excess waiting to be cut from your life like fat on a steak instead lingers on the outer rim of your bank account like fat on a steak. Have a daily driver, sure, but hey, you can afford a track beast, can't you? You know you want to put an X pipe and an LS motor in there. If you can't, what do you even? doing here 19 freshly polished dicks pink and beautiful for you toyota racing development your morning muffin still can't build a stick shift it's 2019, toyota you do a lot of things great but huh? this this stick shift is shit it's new and it's already floppy the engagement is good but it doesn't want to V into any gears. You can't shift it quick, and you're not going fast. The V6 doesn't sound amazing, and putting anything like a more aggressive exhaust on this car would just, oh, it would sound cringy. There are good sounding V6s out there, but the 2GR FKS isn't one of them. The seating position is good. The clutch feel is very good. The suspension is very hard. First and second gear are for mud and rocks, 
and fifth and sixth gear are for driving to Cape May. Third and fourth are for making that gnashing lock washers in a salad shooter V6 sound. <laughs> I'm not a four-cylinder, yo. I masturbate my non-spaded cat with Q-tips. When company comes over, I have to put her in the garage. That's the only door without a screen door she'll claw at. Brakes are touchy as hell, too, and it feels like the travel on the brake pedal changes. Okay, there, there are good things about this shifter. It will jump from position to position, and you can shift this car with one finger. It has generous engagement on it. It's just not precise, but it is forgiving. But the Raptor and up-trim Silverados ride way better than a TRD Pro. Put a cup of coffee in the cup holders, and by the time you get to work, you'll have a cappuccino. Maybe the harsh ride comes from Toyota's worry that you're going to bash the bottom on a too fast approach up a hill. Or maybe it's from having less than full-size truck suspension travel. As far as marketing goes, since it's not a full-size truck, and it's foreign, it means, from a provincial state of mind, it's an exotic truck. But, but a Tacoma isn't as visually striking in this part of the state, thanks to prolific Raptors, as it might be nearer to Philadelphia. A Tacoma is ignoring the demands of your right brain because you can't get as creative with this as you can with the old STI that Kyle used to own. But like a ship safe in harbor, creativity isn't what modern Toyota is these days. This is still endgame for Subaru fanboys because it marks the passage across that threshold, the return, the completion of the dude bro's heroic journey, the transition from the fiscal irresponsibility of reckless, untamed youth to the significance of eye-level conversations with your parents. <laughs> Toyota Tacoma TRD. The truck for you because your supervisor is an ogre, your co-workers are zombies, and no one appreciates you. The only thing that keeps you smiling is the company's health insurance and a plastic purple Easter egg filled with berry berry kicks that you keep up your dumper all day. Every now and again, someone in the office says, Do you hear that noise? And you say, No. And smile to yourself after they leave. Oh, what a feeling! Toyota! It's Memorial Day. Here's a call. Hot dogs, beer, and parades. And like fish. Oh,